Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a ravioli recipe. One of those ones where you come home from work and you've got no idea what to cook, but you've got some of that in the fridge. It's a sage, butter and walnut recipe. So let's go. So first what we need to do is bang some ravioli into a pot of boiling water. It's gonna cook for about five to seven minutes. Our ravioli is on the boil, so we're just going to take a chunk of butter. It's probably, I don't know, 100 grams, 150 grams. If you really like butter, put some more in. There you go. And I've picked some sage from the garden. Just throw that in and we're going to fry it. It doesn't take long. So that's going to go nice and crispy with some garlic. I think there's about that much. A tablespoon of garlic in as well. Maybe it's about 200 grams. Okay. So we've been cooking for about four minutes and we've got crispy sage leaves. So in go the walnuts, and it'll only take a minute or so for the walnuts to soften up a little bit in that butter. There we go. The butter's kind of a little bit brown. It's not burnt, it's just browned. And that's exactly what we want. Once the ravioli is cooked, it just goes back into the pan for about 30 seconds on the heat until that's all come together. The walnuts are now soft, a little bit crunchy, but they're, they've softened up a bit. And that's it. That is all there is to it. And there you have it. Simple night's dinner. Enjoy. You hungry? A little bit. A little bit? Do you want to taste that? Not a minute. Not a minute? No. Okay. Mm. Wow. It's all good? Mm. 